Now let's talk about a more difficult integral, and that's the integral 1 over 1 plus tangent x. Usually, when we see tangent x, what we want to do is change that to sine x over x, and then see what we can um, go from there, right? So let's do that. So this is equal to 1 over 1 plus um, sine x over cosine x dx. And then we have a complex fraction, so we can just multiply the top and bottom by the cosine x. Like the denominator right here. And we will get the integral of cosine x on the top over cosine x times 1, which is cosine x plus cosine x times sine x over cosine x, which they cancel and I have the sine x dx. And at this point, you can try to uh, think about what you're going to do with it. You can try to multiply by the conjugate again, use some uh, trick substitution. And actually, that's not what I'm going to do because I had no luck with them. Okay, so I have a very difficult time with this integral. Okay, um, but I want to show you guys a method um, of something that we know how to do. Okay, I want to show you guys a method, show you guys uh, two integrals that actually are relatively easy compared to this one, and that's how I'm so I, that's how I solve this question. So. The first one I would talk, I would like to talk about is well, compared to the original of uh, original integral, I have cosine x over cosine x plus sine x, right? Wouldn't it be nice if I have a plus sine x on the top right here as as well? If this is the questions that I have, but well, that would be just one step, right? Because this inside turned out to be just one, they cancel, you get one. So the integral of one dx, you get just x plus c, and let me call that c one. Okay, so that's why I said like um, this is the integral that I uh, it's much easier to solve. Another one that's similar to this and it's relatively easy to solve is so I still have the original form plus sine x. This is still the origin of integral, right? And I'm going to look at this as cosine x minus sine x. And how would you solve this integral? And actually, let me rearrange the things. So this is the question that I'm going to focus right now. And let me rearrange the bottom, just the bottom. So on the top, I still have cosine x minus sine x over, let me write the sine x on, uh, first, and then I plus cosine x dx. So if you take a look of this integral, and notice that the top is actually exactly the same as the derivative of the bottom. So we can just do this by the u substitution. So let me do that. That u equals to sine x plus cosine x. So du is equal to derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of cosine is minus sine x dx. So uh, this means if I divide both sides by uh, cosine x minus sine x, I get dx equals to du over cosine x minus sine x. So this integral becomes, I, on the top I have cosine x minus sine x over sine x plus cosine x. I said that's equal to u. So I have the u times dx is equal to du over cosine x minus sine x over cosine x minus sine x so as we can see that these two cancel out and we get the integral of du over u and that's of course just ln of u plus c and let me write this as d2 and u is equal to sine x plus cosine x right so we have the uh, ln absolute value of sine x plus cosine x absolute value plus c2 so uh, let's take a look of how can these two integral help us so the first one I have this integral and that term out to be just x plus c a constant and then the second integral we have cosine um, cosine x minus sine x over cosine x plus sine x and I get ln of sine x plus uh, cosine x, instead of the absolute value, plus the constant. So, 
uh, how can we use these two integrals and solve the original question? So let's see. So first one, let me write this again, side by side. Though. I have cosine x minus, I mean plus sine x over cosine x plus sine x, right? And then we see the result, that's equal to x plus c1. And then the second one that we have is the integral of cosine x minus sine x over cosine x plus sine x dx. And that result is equal to ln of sine x plus cosine cosine x. Absolute value plus c2. What if I add these two integrals together? What if I if I add what if I add up these two integrals together? Well, let's see. First of all, uh, I have no limits on the integral, so uh, there's no restriction, and uh, they already have the same denominators, right? So let me put addition, and let me just add the two integrals together. So let me write down the denominator first, because they are the same. Cosine x plus sine x on the denominator, and then put the dx. And on the top, I have cosine x plus cosine x. So that's equal to 2 cosine x. 2 cosine x. And then I have positive sine x subtract sine x. So they cancel out, right? When you add them up, they cancel out. So this is what we have when we add all these two equals together. And on the right hand side, we will just have x plus ln absolute value sine x plus cosine x. And let me just write this as uh, c3 plus c3. c1 plus c2 is just another constant. Let me call it c3. Compare this with what we want to solve right here. Um, we have a 2. That's the only thing that matters, right? And that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do is multiply 1 half across. Multiply 1 half, 1 half, 1 half, and 1 half. So the 1 half and 1 half cancel out, and we get the integral of cosine x over cosine x plus sine x dx. That's equal to 1 half x plus 1 half ln absolute value sine x plus cosine x absolute value plus this is just a c. Right, 1 half times c3 is just another constant, so let me just write that as c. And this Keep in mind, this is the integral of 1 over 1 plus tangent x dx. 